or looking for a clip Burt in the second or whatever. And we just needed, you know, a bass player that would, would fit in. Jason as you know, strong individual personality and so forth. And, you know, we'll see what happens when we start writing. We don't write on the road, so it's a little early to tell. I convinced myself there's no way that I was going to let this pass me by. Because it's like, you know, a dream come true. Hey, you know, Christmas is coming. Oh man, this is like a dream come true, you know, I mean, these guys have been long, good time friends of ours, you know, and it's like, uh, they've got the crowd and it, we're just like thrilled to death to be opening for these guys, you know, because they're, they're basically our type of fan, I hate that word too, you know, but basically they buy our record too, so right. it's a good opportunity, you know, we're getting to play to a lot more people now opening up for Metallica. Metal Church and Metallica are performing in Canada right now. They'll be back in the States on December 20th when they play in Metal Church's hometown of Seattle. Listen. This past September when their bassist Cliff Burton was killed in a bus accident, they got themselves back on the road in just six weeks. Drummer Lars Ulrich told us why. Looking back on it now, it's really good that the period of time has been so short. Um, because like the main things that we decided when we met up again, you know, about a week after the accident was that we wanted to do it as fast as possible, which would uh, sort of shorten the time of us sitting around, you know, feeling sorry for ourselves and moaning and groaning and so forth. Metallica and their new bassist Jason Newstead are currently on tour in Canada. They'll be back in the States on December 20th when they perform in Seattle. And a lot of people think Twisted Sisters, Dee Snider, Megadeth, and Metallica. For a long time, people have said there's a feud going on between the bands. You see, Dave Mustaine, who's the leader of Megadeth, was also a founding member of Metallica. He left the band right before they recorded their first album. Since then, people have said there's bad blood between them, but Dave set us straight. People say that, you know, we have this big war going on, and, and the war's over, because now I made, you know, my mark. These guys have made their mark. You know, we're equal. It's not like, you know, they, they can't keep me hidden anymore. Yeah, we're two separate bands, too. You, you know, know I didn't copy them, I didn't rip them off. I played my own song, Mechanics, you know, but other than that, you know, we're not ripping them off. This is a separate band, separate music, separate direction, separate attitude. Billy Idol shooting a new video. Hammett and James Hetfield hold MTV. Not only did the audiences take, they also gave. They run up to us and give us gifts and letters and... Yeah, real useful gifts. <laughs> like Hello Kitty toothbrushes. Yeah, and like <laughs> socks. Is that a hint? Socks that are Brush way, too, way too small for you. And like these Japanese lamps. They're pretty useful when you're on tour. Coming up four in a row, but so hard rock into the arenas when they went on tour opening for Ozzy Osbourne. The tour was a big success, but Metallica's vocalist James Hetfield told MTV it took some big adjustments. I just found myself, you know, kind of singing to, you know, the first 20 rows or whatever you can actually see, instead of singing out into this big black void, you know. Hey, there's someone out there trying to watch the show. <laughs> I can't see you. Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit weird. Yeah, it was, it was... just got used to it, though. Metallica are currently on the tail end of a North American tour, and they're performing in Canada right now. Now, here we go with Inside Tracks magazine. Uh, I was down at the record store the other day buying uh, Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Water, and I picked this up. It's free with a purchase, but you have to go pretty quick and get Inside Tracks put out by Billboard, because I understand they are going like hotcakes in the store. So there's that. Coming up today, we have video from the Human League from Sheffield, England, and the band who describes themselves as a mixture between Van Halen and Marvin Gaye. That's Frankie Goes to Hollywood. And while we're at it, we may as well do some video.